In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called finding the conjugate of an acid or a base. In this problem, you'll be given the formulas of three acids and also given the formula of three bases, and then you're going to be asked to write the formulas of their conjugates. So really quick, just as a reminder, um, the general strategy, if you are given the formula of an acid and you're being asked to write the formula of a conjugate base, of its conjugate base, you want to lose or remove one of the hydrogen atoms from the formula of the acid and you also want to take the charge down by positive one so you want to deduct plus one from the charge this is because an acid when it turns into its conjugate base it does that by losing one hydrogen atom and also by dropping its charge down by one unit so if our acid is H3O+, the conjugate base formula, first of all, needs to have one fewer hydrogen atom. So instead of three hydrogen atoms, it needs to only have two hydrogen atoms. And then also the charge needs to be deducted by plus one. So since we're starting with a plus one charge, we need to take plus one away from that plus one charge, which means we're just going to end up with a neutral charge. We don't want to write anything out here as the charge. We just leave it as H2O. For H2SO4, again, we want to lose one of the hydrogen atoms, so that hydrogen atom is no longer going to be there. It's just going to be sulfur and four oxygens. And also, we want to deduct plus one from the charge. We're starting with a minus one charge, and we want to deduct from that, so that means we're going to end up with a minus two charge. Starting with a minus one, deduct another from that gives us a minus two. Last but not least, H2O, we want to lose one of those hydrogen atoms. So that's going to give us just one hydrogen atom with an oxygen, HO, and then deduct plus one from the charge. The charge is neutral, so when we deduct one from the charge, we end up with a minus one charge. Now, if we're starting with a base and we're being asked to write the conjugate acid, we're basically going to do the opposite of all of these things. So that means that we want to add one hydrogen atom to the formula, and also we need to increase our charge by plus one. So looking at this OH minus, we want to add a hydrogen, so that means it would be O with two hydrogens instead of just with one hydrogen. We want to increase the charge by plus one. We're starting with a minus one charge. We're increasing the charge by plus one. That's going to give us a neutral charge, no charge. It weirds me out to see like this OH2. That's actually H2O. It's just more normal to write it that way. CO32 minus, we want to add one hydrogen atom. Normally, if there aren't any hydrogen atoms already present in the formula, like this case, we're going to add hydrogen to the very beginning of the molecular formula, so we'll start with hydrogen, HCO3, and we want to increase our charge by plus one. So we want to increase it from a minus two up to a minus one. Last but not least, H. 2O, we want to add a hydrogen atom, so that's going to give us H3O, and we want to increase our charge from zero, increase it by plus one, so that's going to give us plus, H3O plus. <laughs> 